Hello oh guys, this is Tauntaun here, welcome back to my channel. And following my previous review of the Studio Series 86 Hot Rod and Cup, today I can continue bringing you another 86 figures, which is the Studio Series Voyager class Scourge from the Transformer 986, the movie. So here we have Scourge in his alternate mode, which is a spaceship, but in my opinion this is look more like a space canoe or something like that. Because that is just so, looks so relevant to what an actual canoe looks like in real life. And upon that we still have his signature color as the purple and the light, lighter purple. But the problem is that because of the lighting, lighting so the, his purple actually be caught as some kind of violet colors instead of the pure purple. So I'm going to try to display that in the picture so you see the difference. But upon the recording of this, I'm quite surprised by the change in colors and I was looking for a way I could to fix it but unfortunately I can so we have him and it is still the same level of details as the studio series hot rod you still got that all really nice detail which is really good for panel lining and of course the highlight of this is the Decepticon logos that is a really nice decals sticking up on there and I won't I won't be worrying that he's gonna trip Turning him around to the back, as you can see, you got three three thrusters, and they are looks they looks great. I mean, they are space thrusters, so what else can you expect? Flipping Scotch around, all I can say is I'm kind of feeling let down for this guy being a shell former. Despite all that nice detail, you can still see his leg over there and his arms, and if you flip out open those wing panel, you can see his body as well. So that is quite a shame in my opinion. I think this guy deserves a better transformation than this. But then otherwise, this is a Cybertronian vehicle mode, so we would never know what it looks like. But one detail I really enjoy will be this thruster on the wings here. Because this is on the space, so you will need thruster everywhere to have you move and up and down. So that is quite a nice touch for him. Of course, in this shadow mode, he can store his weapon, which is his blaster. Just put it next to him, like that. That is connected by... The Tap, so not the best weapon storage, but it works, so I guess it's fine. Size comparison wise, here we have Gersh next to a Deluxe class from the Studio Series 86 line, which is Cup. And the sizes are quite different, to be honest with you. Look at that. Gersh is like double in length and taller in height as well, so that is a really well done. And another size compare I want to bring into now would be Voyager class Earthrise Starscream. The reason for this is that they have the same appearance in the movie, so I think this is quite an accurate representation of them. So that is really nice. But now let's get to transformation. To begin with transformation, first of all, I'm gonna flip out this panel and then also take out this panel over here like that and bring it all up. Repeat the same thing. And then you can start collapsing this down and bring them like that. And then for this thruster over here, you can just bring them down. And then you're going to split this section. And bring the whole section out. Just like this and that could be the wings and I untap that and bring the whole section up and at this point here you can see if we fold this down it will reveal the head and there's this connection here you want to take it out as well and then fold them in nicely and tight just like that clip that in now you can start bringing the arms up and tap it and just bring it up to form the complete chest And now you can split the leg and the only thing you're going to want to do is to bring out the whole feet.
and this section will be bended down and fold around the engine as well and this tab here will go into here and we're done so after finishing transforming Scourge, all I can say that they have done their best into miniaturizing the design into this robot mode. Can't say that I'm really happy with all the back cables, but I think overall the figures gives me a somewhat, somewhat of a satisfied feeling seeing him as the complete versions of him for a while. I'm quite happy with this release and enough of that, now let's get to the details. So I know that this sounds a little bit harsh, but to me, Gavatron, Scourge, Cyclonus, and even Unicorn Face have always a Chinese man vibe onto it. You can check out my uh, Unicorn Platinum Edition for that comment. But anyway, this is a really nice face sculpt. You got all the nice painting over here, and I especially love the black lines outside the red eyes and the details. The sculpt is brilliant. I love the fact that his beard are in a different color as well. They even make his stupid head thingy looks good and in my opinion that is a well done and on enough of that he's got a collar so that is a pretty nice touch I and mean, of course he still got that really nice Decepticon logos on his chest which is painted and flipping around him you see the most color of him will be the purple and the lighter purple with some red highlight here and there for thrusters so I think this is the port when you're supposed to be able to pluck this weapon onto and back down a little bit the chest, you'll see his abs and all the nice panel lining over here. Like I said, that would be a great opportunity opportunity for panel lining. And I mean, like he looks great, he looks buffy, and the overall he makes me feel, feel like he's very strong, unlike Starscream. So he will be a great second in command for Galvatron. And move down, continue moving down, you see, I especially enjoy his fingertips. They got painted in a pink color, which is really nice. I wish that more Transformers got painted fingers like this. That is a, such a nice way of highlighting the figures. The thigh section looks as muscular as the arms and it looks like it got some kind of armor vibe onto it. And backing down with the boots, I mean like the boots looks nice. I especially like the long heels of him because when because that shows that he can stand on his own. But then the only downside of this robot mode, if, if you flip him around, you will see it will be the will be the back that is a quite a mess of cables but I guess this is a short former so this is the best we got I especially like the details of the thruster being here so that he can still use it and the thruster onto his head at the vehicle mode now folded in really nicely and that's nice and I enjoy the wings the wings are the highlight of him I must say because you got all this nice detail on both sides and they are really nice I will actually penalize this guy for real so enough for the robot mode now let's get to some of the accessories so Scourge only come with his blaster and that is a really nice blaster you got a, even got a side scope so I think the scope I think this is more like a Gundam weapon Maybe that is my personal taste for it so he can help it by just plugging it onto his hand and that is good um, you still can plug the weapons onto his arms but yeah that heck you got in the robot mode like that or uh, the other like that and that is I think that can, can be considered a weapon storage in the robot mode I suppose and you got this hole here as well that is locked so you got weapon storage kind of everywhere the second accessories that he came with will be this purple effect part so you simply plug it onto his tip of his gun, his gun and that could be it I think that is a nice touch considering he only got his gun so that is quite some nice pew pew bang bang over there size comparison wise here we have Scourge next to his two 86 companion which is Hot Rod and Cup as you can see Scourge towers over them so that's quite nice to see they did really nail that scaling thing again so now I'm gonna bring in the Voyager Earthrise Starscream or you can see as you can see, Scourge and Starscream are now on some quite a similar height. And as you know, in the movie, 86 movie, Thundercracker got reformed in, in, into Scourge. So that is quite nice to see that they are on the same size. They nailed that perfectly. Now, so now let's get to some articulation. The articulation begins with the head. You can go up a little bit and down a little bit. And he can do a full 
not fully 360 because of the colors it does get into the way and this this tip here can rotate if that counts as articulation as articulation this arm can bring out like that and do a full rotation but then it's got blocked by the wings we got a bicep swivel that is quite tight and in elbow bend his hand can do a swivel he got a waist swivel that is really nice he got a kick to the front kind of limited because of the blockiness of the thighs he got a kick to the back and he got a split got, this is a knee bend this is 90 degrees standard he got he got a pivot and he got two toe bends due to the transformation so that would be it articulation wise this guy is decent enough to be poses next to Gavatron and Cyclonus I think they would make a great trio other than that I think the most the most selling aspect of him will be the nostalgic and the feels that you need to complete the 86 movie team so I mean that is the only reason that people would buy this so like the hardcore fan will definitely buy him but then I don't, I'm not too sure about the new fans the younger one so that will be it for this review what do you guys think of him be sure to tell me in the comment section below and of course if you feel like you like this content feel free to subscribe to my channel if you are new and also follow me on instagram that is where i do most of my updates and if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures feel free to buy me a coffee in the description below so that's it for today guys Ta -ta now.